Hi and welcome to another Cheeky Girl Creations video. Now today I'm going to do a little something a bit different. Because it's my birthday yesterday, I decided to do a birthday haul. So first things first, I decided to treat myself to some dyes. So I got a few Christmas dyes and a few word dyes. And I get these dyes from Hobbycraft. I'm not sure if you can get them anywhere else. Um, because it does say exclusive to Hobbycraft and they're X-cut dies and I like these because they're affordable they're normally £2.50 and you get a good amount for your money because even though there may be a main picture in it sometimes there's little bits in it as well and Hobbycraft quite regularly does a sale where it's two for £4 so for these six I got for 12 and same for this as well. So these, this is a reindeer and it has a few stars to go with it. This is a wreath. A holly with like some flourishes and the berries as well. Got a Christmas pudding. And on some of them as well, they also have a sticker showing what it looks like after you've cut it out, which is quite useful. A robin and a snowflake. And then out of the word dies, I got a th one that says thank you and it comes with a little flower as well. This one says best wishes. And that comes with a star. This one says happy birthday, which comes with a little balloon, which I really like. And this one says happy Christmas, which comes with a holly. This one says with love, and it comes with a heart. And then I also got this, I believe this is a hexagon. Nest some nesting dies to make up the sail. So six, so I can get it for 12, and there's three of them on different sizes. And most of my dies are X-cut because they are affordable and I really do like them as well. And they cut through quite a few layers as well, which is nice. So I also got some foam tape. So it's on a roll and I have some foam pads. There's quite a few of them. This is from the works. So of course this is very good for card making. And I have some craft with a K blank cards. There's 50 of them and it also comes with envelopes. So I like to get these. I've never used craft before but I normally get a set of coloured ones from the works. I'm not sure what that one's from though. And it's five by seven, and I think that's the regular size in Britain, five by seven cards. And I also have some blank white ones, 50 as well, and this is definitely from the works. I got another set as well from somebody else of the white ones. And because I want to do quite a lot of card making soon, I don't think I'll be running out anytime soon, which is brilliant. And then I have some acetate, some A4 premium acetate. It's acid free and it's made by Dove Craft. There's a pack of 10. And I also have a pack of 10 acid free plain white vellum from Anita's. So I I like using acetate to make windows and shaker cards and I've never used vellum before so that'll be fun to use and try out. And I have some watercolour paper, it's a watercolour pad of 18 sheets. I know you can get this from the works by Crawford and Black, 230 GSM, acid free. And it's 
10.5 by 7.5 inches. And I also got some watercolour paper from somebody else. It's A4 as well. 24 sheets, 180 GSM. And it's from Wilco's. I've never tried these out. So it'll be nice to see how these work out. And, and I also have some 50 self-seal craft bags for 5x7 cards, which is perfect. So once I'm finished, I can put them in these sleeves. I can sell them at craft fairs and different things like that. So I got two packs, which is 100. And then I have some other foam pads. These are by Dove Craft, but these are very small. They're two, two millimeter thick, but it doesn't say how big. It comes in a pack of 400. Oh, it's five by five millimeters. So this is perfect for putting behind little embellishments. Then I have these deco borders, which are self-adhesive. I've never used these before. This is also from the works. So I'm looking forward to using that. And then I have got quite a few chipboard embellishments from a few people. This one has flower and butterflies. It's a pack of 15 from the works. And I love chipboard embellishments. Absolutely love them. I have to be careful not to buy too much. Um, I use them on my deco art tags. Um, all sorts. Mixed media, canvases. And I'll link the deco art tags below so that you can see how I use some of them. And those were frames, as a, they were a pack of six printed frames. And this is some Christmas chipboard embellishments, pack of six. And this is from the works as well. And then this is a set of wooden plaques. And I don't know how much is in this doesn't say but this is also from the works so this would be nice to use as well and then there's just a few more things Ooh. I've got some double-sided tape I normally get mine from the works so I know this will definitely work well it's a pack of four it's 18 millimeters by eight millimeters doesn't say how long the roll is though but it's, it lasts quite long and it's quite a good quality I also get mine from Poundland as well and that works well and then I have two white gel pens which is perfect because mine just ran out a few days ago one's a Uniball Signal and one's a Pentel hybrid gel grip a hybrid gel grip is one millimeter and I believe this is one millimeter as well and the Uniball Signal is my favorite I like this one too but the Uniball Signal is definitely my favorite then I got two bottles of clear embossing powder by Paper Mania this is perfect I've been wanting to try out embossing powder for quite a while I've used it once I quite liked it and there's all sorts of different ways you can use it so I can't wait to use that on my cards and I have this Dovecraft premium pigment ink pad crystal white acid free and I, I like using white ink pads I got one in Michaels in the US I had one earlier this year but I've already used it up it's I really like using them and I have this six Cork luggage, six cork luggage tags, sorry, from the works. I've never worked on cork before, so it'll be interesting to see how you can use them. Then this is a pack of six wooden shapes from the works as well. The works is very good for embellishments. As you can see, they're very good. Then 25 vellum shapes. Most of them are owls, there's a little bird in there as well. These are quite cute, also from the works. Looking forward to using them, they're adorable. Then I have 
This is four by four clear stamps. There's four big ones and then there's three little uh, snowflakes. So perfect for Christmas. And this is made by Doc Crafts. Doc Crafts Paper Mania Folk Christmas. And I got some stickers. I got a stencil. It's a Doc Crafts Paper Mania Capsule Geometric Mono Stencil 8x8. And it's an adhesive stencil. So when you put it on your surface, it stays there itself so that you don't have to hold it down, which is really good because your hand could shift. So that should help you get quite a perfect outcome. You can also have these little embellishments. It's quite cute as well. I like these. I'm not sure where you can get those though. And then I have this 24 piece artist set, 12 watercolour pencils and 12 sketching pencils. This is from Sainsbury's. So I'm looking forward to using these. I have some watercolour pencils. I think I got them from the works. I'm not sure. I've had them for ages. So it'd be nice to use these as well to see what they're like. Looking forward to using those. So thank you for watching. This is a bit different. Never done a haul video before so I thought I should show you before I start making cards and different things so you kind of know where I got all the stuff from and yeah so thank you for watching and please join me again for another Cheeky Girl Creations video oh and just before I forget in honor of my birthday I'm having a 17% off sale for this week it ends Sunday midnight and it's on my Ticktail site I'll link it below and it's on all my mixed media canvases canvas boards and a few other items so if you want to catch that sale please follow the link I'll link it below and again thank you for watching bye